What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm Lorena from Green Healthy Cooking and today we're going to make a super simple chicken and broccoli recipe. So the first thing that we need is about a pound of chicken thighs. Yes, chicken breast works too, but I prefer chicken thighs. They're juicier and more delicious. You're going to cube them into bite-sized pieces and then you take a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and then you use your hands to massage it all in. You set the chicken aside and get a fresh and clean chopping board and then you're going to start to finely chop two cloves of garlic and next up you're going to cut some broccoli into bite-sized florets. You want about two cups of broccoli in total. And now we're finished cutting everything we need to cut and it's time to pull out the frying pan. So get a large frying pan out, uh, preheat it over medium low. And once it's hot, add a little bit of butter and a little bit of olive oil. This helps to make the chicken nice and brown, but you can use either just butter or just oil, whichever way you prefer. I love mixing both of them. And then we're going to add our cubed chicken to the hot fat in the hot pan. And we're going to spread it out evenly, leave it untouched for at least eight to 10 minutes until it's nice and brown on one side and then flip the pieces over so they can brown on the other side. And once they're all cooked through and nice and golden, that's when you take a slotted spoon and remove all the chicken and set it aside in a little bowl. You're going to add the chopped up garlic into that fat that's still in the frying pan. You add the broccoli as well. You stir it around for maybe a minute and then we're going to add half a cup of chicken broth. As soon as you put the chicken broth in the pan, you want to put on the lid and reduce the heat to low so the broccoli can steam on low heat and not overcook. So you're going to let the broccoli in there for approximately five minutes. Keep an eye on it so it cooks to your liking. If you like it rather super soft, then cook it maybe eight minutes. If you like it super crunchy, maybe cook it only three minutes. And once the broccoli has the consistency that you love, you're going to use that slotted spoon again and remove the broccoli. You can add it to the chicken if you want. And now we're going to prepare the delicious sticky sauce. So for that, we're going to need a teaspoon of ginger paste, about half a tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and a tablespoon of rice vinegar. And now it's important, we're going to add a cornstarch or tapioca starch slurry. To make a slurry, you take half a tablespoon of starch, whichever one you prefer, half a tablespoon of water, you mix it well, and then you pour it into the sauce. You don't want to put the starch into the pan right away because it might become clumpy and it won't thicken the sauce. So the slurry is to thicken the sauce. You just give it all a quick stir to mix it all up. And once it's well combined, you add the chicken back into the pan to reheat and also to coat in this sticky sauce. Once you finish with that, you can either put the broccoli back into the pan and mix it all up, or what I prefer to do is I serve the broccoli on top of some brown rice and then the chicken on the side, pour the sauce only over the chicken, sprinkle some sesame seeds on top and dive in. This recipe is super quick, super easy and absolutely delicious. The perfect weeknight dinner. I hope you give it a try. If you do, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I love seeing when you make my recipes. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy the next one. Bye.